Good afternoon. I want to welcome you. Well, good morning, Pat. Welcome. When you come on, say hello. Hello. Hey, Bev. And Robin. See, some of the comments I'm seeing on my computer and some on my phone. Yay, your Sunday alarm will work. Your Sunday alarm work. Yay. Good morning, Stella and Carol. I had to put the phone up a little closer so that I could see. Um, thank you for sharing, Pat. I don't know why, but today... Um, like, even when I had my glasses on, I'm seeing everything looks blurry. So, I'm having to really focus on the comments. Welcome, everyone. Today is, what is today? It's Sunday, January the 16th. Ooh, Carol, snowy Wisconsin. It's a sunny day here in San Antonio. I haven't been outside, so I don't know how cold it is. Uh, I just know I have my heater on behind me because I'm chilly downstairs. Thank you for sharing. I want to welcome you. Uh, if you are here for the first time, my name is Barbara Ragsdale, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that lives in the San Antonio, Texas area. And I am here live on today, Sunday. <laughs> I had to think about that. I was going to say Wednesday. Sunday afternoons at 3 p.m. Central Time in order to show you some Stampin' Up! products, what to do with them, um, whether it's making a handmade card or if you're working on projects or even if you're into scrapbooking as well. So I do go live Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m for scrapbook page layout. So if you are joining me and you're a scrapbooker or you are interested in learning how to use your Stampin' Up! products for scrapbooking, feel free to join me on a Wednesday morning at 10. These videos are all recorded and if you miss me here on Facebook, I do have a YouTube channel where I upload all my videos. So if you know of somebody that would enjoy the creativity, the hour, some, sometimes mostly it's an hour of creativity, sometimes it's longer, and they're not on Facebook, you can always direct them to my YouTube channel. And I am live right now, so you probably see a live in maybe this corner over here. And if you don't see that live, you're probably watching the replay. And if you're on YouTube, you are watching the replay because I don't go live yet on YouTube. Um, I will be soon. And I want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you want to be notified when I upload a video, just hit the, subscri the subscribe button, that red subscribe button, and turn on your notifications so that you know when I upload a video. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Brenda. Excuse me. I'll make sure I didn't miss somebody. I saw some comments going through there. Hi, Brenda. Brenda, I haven't seen your name here before. Welcome if you are here for the first time. Hope you get some inspiration today. Hi, Cindy. Warm in Dallas, 49 and sunny. Well, I'm sure, yes, it's better than yesterday, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, welcome everyone. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go through just a couple of announcements. Um, as always, if you don't have someone that you get catalogs from, you are more than welcome to get a complimentary copy from me. We do have, we still do have our annual catalog that's good through May. We are currently in our celebration period, which means for every $50 that you purchase, and get my catalog here, you also can choose something for free out of the celebration brochure. Hi, Jess. And there's, some, there's a lot of goodies in here. I know I've showed you some of them. What am I doing today? Oh, I'm doing something out of the mini catalog today. So I'm not showing any of the free stuff, but if you go back to my previous week's videos, um, you'll see that I've already done some things with some of the free things that you can get. And 
actually last week's video I did um, I did the bundle the friendly hello stamp bundle and when I get this camera pointed down you're gonna see the couple of cards that I cased out of the the little brochure here and case just means copy and share everything and I think you'll find that um, several times a month at least a couple of times a month I like to case the catalogs whether it's the mini catalog the annual catalog um, any other brochures we might have and that's just to show you that you can make the things that you see in our catalogs uh, real people made these things and I'll show you how easy it is to use those so um, hi Denise welcome and then we also have our current mini catalog our current January to June mini catalog so if you need catalogs let me know and even if you're already a demonstrator um, when you join my email list I have a different special um, freebie for you to send your way so just as a thank you for joining my email list let's go ahead um, um, I'll wait on some other announcements everything that um, after the video I'm gonna be updating the description of the video and there will be more links on there to any upcoming events my retreats there is still the spring retreat ended up um, filling back up really quickly so the spring retreat the live version is already full again but you can opt to take it to go if you want to take it to go and then my summer retreat which is in June that one still has several spaces available if you're interested in taking that retreat that one is going to be at Mountain Laurel in New Braunfels Texas and it is gorgeous our Texas Hill Country I want to make sure I don't lose power on my iPad I had to quickly charge it right before the video so that we could do the drawing but all of those links will be in my description because um, I want to go ahead and get started for you guys uh, let me put let me open this back up to what I'm doing today I hope wherever you are you are warm and you're safe you have something to to drink while you enjoy a little creativity where did it go I had it and oh there it is okay let me leave that open all right well hi Pat oh hello again did I tell you hello I don't remember of course sometimes I don't remember what happens from minute to minute I have my squirrel moments and then that coupled with brain fog is not a good combination oh I did have Whitney down here you guys but that was not working out well because she wanted to uh, she was curious about my crafting desk and she the only way to get to it that she could figure out right now was to jump on me and we've already been through this trying to keep them and from jumping on me so that they don't hurt me and um, it, it was just constant like every time she'd jump on the chair I would just go like that and I would have to get her down and then it, not two seconds later I'd look down and she was doing that little thing where they you know wiggle their butts and then they jump you know I was like no we can't I can't have any surprises during my life so I asked Chris to go ahead and, and please just take her back upstairs so um, yeah that would have been real horrible um, had she jumped on here during a live so let's go ahead and get this camera pointed down so that we can oh you had to switch devices oh okay <laughs> never do never knew hi Veronica welcome all right let's go ahead and get this switched around so we can give away the cards that we made last week and I can show you what I was talking about and then we can get started on um, the cards for today the demonstrations for today okay so let's get this flipped around let me pull this down a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing see that host code my website good afternoon Teresa so last week if you missed last week 
these are the two cards that I cased. And I cased these out of our celebration brochure. This is our celebration brochure I was telling you about. So keep this in mind as you're watching the demonstration today. If you need to place an online order and your order is at least $25 or more. So I'm going to give you several options here. If your order is at least $25 or more, from me, you're going to get a free kit in order to make these three cards using the Love and Happiness Bundle. And then there's a little treat box. You're going to get a kit, a free kit, that has all the pieces that you need. Everything is cut, die cut for you, embossed. In fact, this is what your kit looks like. Everything is already cut for you. You've got your bases, any accessories that you need. The only part that I don't do is the stamping. There's even the little box you have to assemble. That's free with a $25 online order off my website using that host code right there. This QR code is, if you scan it, if you have another device to scan, that will automatically take you to my online store and plug in the host code for you so that you don't have to put that in. So that's what the QR code is for. But that's a free kit in the mail from me. Now, if your order is $50 or more, you're going to get the free kit. You're going to get a spool of, where did I do it? the uh, real red faux ribbon plus you get to choose something out of the celebration brochure absolutely free and we have a large variety of items for free there's a island vibe stamp set you've got designer series paper that coordinates with one of our bundles the daffodil daydream bundle out of the january to june mini catalog you have Chasing Butterflies, this stamp set, Driving By, and there's lots of cool samples for you in the book, the little brochure. You have this Sunshine and Rainbows 6x6 designer series paper. It's cute. It does coordinate with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle in our, cat, in our mini catalog. I actually cased this and that and then another card a few weeks ago. There's the Simply Marvelous 6x6 designer series paper. It's 48 sheets of designer series paper. I, I did a video on that one several weeks ago. There is an Awesome Otters stamp set. My friend Terry with Crafts a Latte, she did, a, she did some cute birthday cards a couple of weeks ago. And then this is the one that I cased last week. I have also done a... Let me make sure I get this right. Did I? I can't remember. Um, I thought I did a scrapbook page layout, but like I said, you guys, <laughs> I forget things real easy. And then special moments. Special moments actually is, well, between friendly hello, that is free with a $100 purchase. And so is special moments, just because it has so many sentiments on it. But those are free with a $100 purchase. And then if you either host or you have an individual order that's $300 or more, you're going to get this Calming Camellia stamp set for free. But the best part is when you actually join our community and purchase your own demonstrator kit, you're gonna to get to choose $125 worth of products for only $99. That's pretty much our daily special, I guess you could say. You get free shipping, a free past paper pumpkin kit, 20% off all of your personal purchases. But through celebration, excuse me, but through celebration, which ends at the end of next month, you get to choose any two stamp sets that you want to your kit absolutely free. So that's a pretty good deal. 
So if you're looking for a couple of extra goodies to add to your kit for free, when you purchase your own kit, you can choose those two stamp sets for free. That's awesome. Celebration is always awesome. Let me pull these away. And let's give away these cards. These are the two cards that were in the... Let me pull it back out here. It was these two cards that I cased. This one right here, which is that one. And this one right here, which is that one. So we're going to give those two away. They will come with envelopes, just so you know. Now, this is our weekly wheel. In order to get on this wheel, when you like, comment, or share any of my videos, that gets you onto the wheel. And when you share, you actually get an extra entry. So when you share my videos, which I really appreciate sharing, helps spread the love on a Sunday afternoon, but also gives me more exposure and, and more people start to, to watch my videos, which I appreciate. Stampin' Up! is all that I do. So I do this full time, which is my happy place. I mean, who, who doesn't want to craft 24-7 and have that flexibility? I know I do. But that gets you onto the wheel. And as you can see, last week, there were a lot of names on the wheel, lots of shares. So I appreciate all the shares. We're going to give these two cards away. And good luck, everyone. Hi, Mary. Hi, Bonnie. Thank you for sharing, Bonnie. So after you share my videos, if you have, you have to type shared in the comment section. And look. Bev Hassel. And look, it was her share. Congratulations, Bev. I know I thought I saw you watching. Hi, Joanne. Joanne Rinker. Thank you for sharing. Jess. Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Thank you for sharing. Veronica. So congratulations, Bev. Bev was on my bingo last night, my online Stampin' Up! bingo. And she won one of the bingos. So we had some great winners. Great winners last night. The next one, I don't have it on my calendar just yet, but the next one, um, if you want to save the date for now until I get something on my online events calendar, but the next bingo date that I'm looking at. If you want to join us for some Stampin' Up! online bingo, it's also includes with, it also comes with make and take. So it's actually a, an online class. We'll play some bingo games and then have some make and takes at the end. It's going to be April the 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. It's not on my event calendar just yet, but if you would love to join us, we'd love to have you. And I don't remember if it was Bonnie or Donna last last week, but Bonnie or Donna, if you're watching, look, I changed the date because <laughs> I didn't realize it was still on 2021. <laughs> All right. So today I'm going to be doing um, a couple of cards and the cards that I'm going to do is kind of like a hybrid of something from our mini catalog, which I'm going to be featuring this designer series paper that if you have your mini catalog, it's on page 23. This one is, this one is called the Symbols of Fortune Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's gorgeous, you guys. It actually is part of our Symbols of Fortune suite, collection suite, that has a lot of different, um, you know, you got a bundle, you've got ribbon. I didn't even look to see if that ribbon is orderable yet. For a while, it hasn't been, and I just, I just didn't check the list to see, but I would doubt that it is. If anybody knows, just say, hey, it's orderable, because that is really pretty ribbon. It's soft succulent. And it's like a satin ribbon, a half inch satin ribbon. So I know that's going to be gorgeous. Um, so if you love anything cranes, there's some, there's a crane image, a die cut, some floral images. The collection comes with the ribbon, the polished dots, the mother of pearl specialty paper, and a 12 by 12 package of this Symbols of Fortune designer series paper. 
we're going to be using the polish dots. Is that? Mm, did I? Yeah, on one card we're going to use the polished dots and on the other one we're going to be using some brass butterflies. So, but between this, we're also I'm also going to be using I pulled out of the annual catalog our art gallery bundle for a couple of reasons. But the main one is because I don't have that bundle. <laughs> so I can't use any of those those flowers. So I was like, "Well, let me just pull out art gallery and do something with art gallery." Because this is its own uh, set of products that you, this was in, this was in the mini last year. So Art Gallery is in our annual catalog and also has a set of coordinating, coordinating dies. Put that back in place. So everything I need I've already gotten out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first card that I'm going to be showing you how to make is going to be this one right here. I decided to use the Calypso Coral and Poppy Parade just because the, you've got the Calypso Coral in this designer series paper. But let me show you the paper. Let me show you the paper. It's a specialty paper because one side, look at these designs. Ooh, he's upside down. There we go. Look at that pretty crane. So anytime we have a paper that has like a shimmer or a shine to it, it's classified as a specialty paper. Look at that. Ooh. But the other side is equally gorgeous. Look at all this. You've got soft succulent, crumb cake, basic white. There's evening evergreen, calypso coral. Look at all these colors. Look at this piece of designer series paper. Look at that. It's like a little crane. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's just like a mini image in itself. It's gorgeous. So we're going to be using a couple of sheets from this one. We're not going to be using the specialty, any of the specialty sides. Uh, we're going to be using the more toned down sides with these two cards today. Okay, so let me get my little pieces out. I've already gone ahead and done the stamping and die cutting just to speed things up a little. The bottom image, which is the more the more solid image of the, the flower is in Calypso Coral. And then I wanted it to pop a little bit, so the top image, I actually stamped it in Poppy Parade, okay? And I want to say, Robin, was that you that had that we were at retreat last year. This is just a standard uh, card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm just going to fold it in half. But I want to say, was that you, Robin, at a retreat last year that had a sheet that showed like all the different color combos that looked good with that particular flower? I think it was. If I remember correctly. Anyway, you can pretty much use any color combo on these right here. You did make it. Okay, that's what I thought. You can get real creative with these flowers. On this one, I, I didn't stamp off. It was full strength Calypso Coral, full strength Poppy Parade, but you could also get away with making it all Calypso Coral by stamping off the, the more solid background and then stamping full strength with the detailed stamp on top of it. So um, there's lots of things you can do with those, those two-tone flowers. You made it for a class and you still have it. Awesome. Will it let you share a picture of it, Robin, just to show everybody what I was talking about? I think you can share a photo. If you can't, let me know. But anyway, we have our, we have our card base. 
I do go I do have a a four by five and a quarter piece of basic white that we're going to go ahead and put on the inside now if you're making this card if you have a personalized stamp or a, you know a, a copyright stamp of some kind go ahead and stamp the back of it and if you have anything that you're going to stamp on the inside or if you're going to write or stamp a sentiment of some kind go ahead and stamp that now before you put it in your card just in case you happen to make a boo-boo or something and you don't want to waste your card base okay so let's go ahead and get that on the inside so we can eliminate this piece from the little stack of pieces there and then this is another four by five and a quarter piece of the designer series paper um, at this point I can tell I need to turn it that way so just make sure you're looking at the the pattern so that you get it you get it on there the way you want to or the way it needs to be and then let's put that on the front there we go it's coming it's coming to shapes now now I'm also using <clears throat> let me pull it out I'm just going to pull this out. We're also using another new product called Vellum Layering Designs. And let me show you the pages in that. I'm using a couple of different pieces. I know you're probably not going to be able to see it, and maybe you can, but um, there's different pieces of vellum that have different, oh, sketches. This looks like a map although I can't tell where the map is from. There we go, I wanna turn it sideways. You can kinda of see that there's the little whites. There we go, there we go, I can see it there. So that one's like of a map. This one is of a script of some kind. No, oh, that's hard to tell. I don't have a piece of paper here to put behind it, or do I? I have a little piece of paper, but that doesn't show you anything. But anyway, this is, has like a little, it's got script on it in different blocks. And then you have um, the same thing, but in black. So you've got one in black and then you have one in white. Then there is what looks like, looks like newspaper, but you have a sheet in black and also in white. I don't, I never, I didn't read what it all it says, but it's basically like newspaper type, but it's telling a story of some kind. Interesting. But you also have it in white, and then the same map that I showed you here in white, you have a black and white version which I still can't. I see Oliver, McCalmont. I see Union, Henderson, Springold. I don't know, this might be another country for all I know, but it looks like it might be somewhere here in the US. I don't know, Eldred? Washington. Oh, could this be Washington? I don't know. If, if there's anybody on here that recognizes Beaver, I guess these are counties. Clover, Rose, Pine Creek. I don't know. It looks like it's maybe Washington. I don't know. And then... I think those were it. Yeah, you get six sheets. You get two of each. But I'm using this vellum in here. Okay? And I've got two pieces. We're using the scripty in black and white and also the white one. And one is slightly larger than the other. In fact, I want to say the black one is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. 
three and a quarter by four and a quarter, yeah. And then this one is three by four. Okay, so we're gonna put this down. I'm just gonna put some seal in the middle of that. And we're gonna put that on kind of at an angle. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the one on white. You do have to make sure you're putting it on the right side because one side is slightly lighter than the other. So you'll know if it's the brighter one that you're putting on the front. And then we're gonna put the other piece on top of that, kind of at an angle. And then we're gonna take one of our, one of our flowers. We're gonna put this one directly on, bear with me here. Hold on. I'm gonna put that one directly on the adhesive, I'm sorry, the vellum as well. Why is this not coming out? What am I doing wrong? Hold on. I have a technical difficulty with the, uh, with the adhesive. I'm just gonna do it forward there. Okay, we're gonna put this one directly on, kind of at an angle like that. And then this one, if I can grab that, I'm gonna put this up with some, I've got my little ones here. I have to put several of them. I would actually suggest using the larger dimensionals, but I grabbed the smaller ones first. We're gonna pop this one up with some dimensionals. Off to the side at an angle, kinda of like that. A little further down. And then we're gonna use our Evening Evergreen Open Weave Ribbon. We're gonna make a bow. Bows will always, bows and accessories will always sparkle up a card. So let me get my bow tied, pull that down a little bit. Go. And I'm not watching the comments, so if you join me after I got this camera pointed down, welcome. I'll look up in a few moments when I'm done with this card. And I could have done a better job with that bow. I don't, I'm not happy with this bow, you guys. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. And then we're gonna put this on with some glue dots. I'm just not happy with that bow. But I'm gonna put it on. Mm. Keep messing with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up even more. Trim that a little bit. All right, we're gonna put this on with with the glue dot right here at the base to where these come together, and then we're gonna use these new brushed brass butterflies. We're gonna put a couple of them on there. We'll put a small one. We'll put a small one up here, and then we'll put one of these bigger ones. Oops, let me let me do the sentiment because I want to put it next to the sentiment first. I need to I need to stamp that. So we're gonna stamp in. We're gonna stamp in evening evergreen, and I don't know why it looks so dark right here. Let me bring a little more light over. We're gonna stamp in evening evergreen. Let me get my foam mat. These are photopolymer stamp sets, so unless you have a sturdy surface, uh, mine's pretty sturdy, you'll wanna use these foam mats underneath your photopolymers. But we're gonna stamp in Evening Evergreen, Best Wishes, and this is one of the die cuts from the art gallery, the dies. Okay, so with photopolymer, you can see exactly where you're gonna stamp, which is awesome. So let me just stamp that on there. Pop that off, and that's crooked. 
Well, clearly my eyes are crooked today. <laughs> my eyes are crooked today, so I'm not, I am not surprised that happened. But, give me just a second. I should have cut a couple of extra of these just in case that happens. So let me see if I can get this straight the second time. Let me line this up with my grid lines on this paper and that might help. Because I still am seeing things. And it's laundry day so our washer's going off. There we go. I think this one's gonna be better. I'm hoping this is going to be better. Yes, perfect. Yeah, stamping that sideways when I can't see straight wasn't the best thing. So I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on this one. And then let's put our little, our little greeting best wishes off to the side right here. And then we'll put our little butterfly off to the side right there. And I only used two of them on this particular card, but there you have it. That is, that's card number one. Got a couple of things happening. Designer series paper, some vellum. Thank you, Pat. I love the colors on this card. Um, just especially this particular piece of designer series paper because you have all these warm colors you know you've got your calypso coral your soft succulent your crumb cake you got a little bit of basic white sprinkled in there you know if you're doing this card um you know you can certainly stamp the flowers in one of these coordinating colors if you don't want the, the flower so bright. I just took that one just because there's, you know, that Calypso coral in there, but we also have soft succulent open weave ribbon as well, but I chose to use this one because I don't know if y'all can see, let me pull this up a little bit. Um, the butterflies that are on the designer series paper, those are in evening evergreen. And so that's why I chose to use Evening Evergreen. So as you can see with Stampin' Up! products, you've got a lot of variety. And as long as there's coordinating colors in the designer series paper, whatever you're working with, you're going to see that you can still use those other colors and it just coordinates. And you have, you have choices as well. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Martha. Thank you for sharing, Kathy, Darcy. Thank you, Cindy. So there you have it. There's card number one. Love it. Let's break out card number two, which will be our second card for today. Now, Remember, I said I don't have that stamp set. So what I did is I used, let me show you. In that designer series paper, there's a sheet that looks like this, okay? So let me show you what you can do Let's just say you don't want that stamp set because you have a lot of other stamp sets, um, but you really like that image. So in the, in the bundle, there is a die that coordinates with that. So you could, 
you know, get away with getting the dies if you wanted to. But I always personally like having bundles together. But I don't have those dies because I don't have that bundle. So what I did is I basically just fussy cut. <laughs> I fussy cut one of the images out. So you can still get the same effect. I went ahead and cut it to save some time. But I just literally fussy cut one of the images out because I wanted, I wanted to do a card with one of their own flowers part of, you know, out of the DSP. So that's what we're going to do. Now we have, and I just noticed I only did one set. Okay. All right. Y'all are going to have to give me a minute when we get to that part. But I can go ahead and get started at least. We have a, an evening evergreen base. Just a standard base. Nothing, nothing crazy. And I was thinking about that too last night. But it looked like I had done everything. So, oops. Well, that'll give me a chance to show you how to use... Um, I'll pull the little mini embossing machine out. So, for those of you that haven't seen our uh, embossing and die-cutting machines in action, I can do that really quick before your eyes. Um, so, we have our base. We have two pieces of basic white. Both are the same, four by five and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and put one of them on the inside. So, let's get that one... Let's get that one out of the way. I want to make sure I'm putting adhesive on the right side. So let's get that one down. Okay. And then this one, we are going to put on the front, but we have to build a mat before we do that because we're, we're working also with ribbon. Okay. So what we're going to do with this one, this one is going to be a landscape card. Same thing, um, just get some adhesive on the back of your designer series paper. And let's put that on. Now when we go to put it on the card, we do have to make sure we're putting it the right side up. And that actually was upside down, so there we go. That's more right side up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and put adhesive around the entire back of our card. Okay? And we are going to be using the new, this isn't from that, um, this is from another suite, but this is window pane check ribbon in evening evergreen. Look at that. Cute. We're going to be cutting a couple of pieces. We're going to be cutting one piece that goes vertical. You want to cut it a little bit wider. And then another one we're going to be cutting to go across the width of the card. Okay, and so you want to make sure it's the right side up because this would actually be upside down. So that's the right side up. We're going to take this one put it over here on the right side, fold that piece over to make sure it attaches to that adhesive. Pull this a little tight, not too tight to where your card starts to curl, but pull it just tight enough to where you can wrap it around. And make sure it attaches to the adhesive. And then we're gonna do the same thing going across the bottom, kinda like that. Fold it over. that straight and fold that piece over okay so now you have all your pieces on the back they're not going to go anywhere okay so we're going to go ahead and bring our card go ahead and put this on this is the part that I know I have forgotten many of times I want if you want to put the mat on and you're like oh no I was supposed to put ribbon on and that didn't happen so okay so now we have this piece right here I'm going to go ahead and stamp. Let's go ahead and do the stamping. We're going to stamp and let me get this straight like I did the other one and hopefully we won't have to I won't have to redo that. But we're going to be stamping in Calypso Coral. I'm thinking of you. Okay, so just ink that up. Tap, 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 tap. 
and then make sure that's straight. That looks like it's gonna be straight, but we're gonna find out. It's straight enough. These are handmade cards, not, not Hallmark. And if anything, I will, I mean, that's straight enough, but if it was really bad, I would just give away my sample that looks a lot better, so. Okay, so now we have those out of the way, and let me get, let me get the vellum and the Evening Evergreen, the sizes that I need, and I already have my little mini cut embossing little machine here, so that's all ready, so give me a moment, let me go get the paper. Well, okay, so I have, that's a way too wide. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna have to cut that down. Sorry, you guys, I'm gonna have to cut this down just about, I'll just do a three and a half. And then that way it'll go through. But while I also have this out, Let me go ahead and cut. Archie, Archie's starting to meow. Cause nobody's paying attention to him. I'm gonna do these one at a time. So this is our mini cut and emboss machine. It's very portable. The sides do come up like that. This weighs about what, I think eight pounds, something like that. And it is $60 and comes with all of the plates that you need in order to do, um, there's, some, oh, there's a couple of other plates uh, that you need in order to do die cutting and embossing. This one actually fits our mini embossing folders. And let me just show you a couple of them. These are a couple of the new ones. I don't know the names. I haven't even labeled them yet. But these fit the mini cut embossing folders or if you have something small that you're die cutting like what I'm going to do right now it would fit that as well so let me get let me get the right one Archie that's for the vellum and where is I think it's this one okay so we're going to put that one on there for that. And then just run it through. This is great to have on your desk if you have something really, really quick, kind of like me. There we go. I've got a little scallop there, which I think that's the wrong size, but that's okay. It's close enough. And then I have the one with the vellum as well. And I'm just going to run it back through the other way. I need to use I need to use a uh, get me a new top for my mini one, a new top cutting plate. Okay, and then same thing with that one. Okay, just pops out. And that is it. All right, so let's put this thing together. We are going to go ahead and put this vellum that just covered up my adhesive. Nope, there it is. We're going to put a little bit of seal on this adhesive. 
and we're going to mat that. Oh, that looks better than the other one does. All right, well, I guess everything's for a reason, huh? Okay, and then we're going to get some adhesive on the back of this. I want it pretty much everywhere on the back because it's going to be over this whole little area right here. You can certainly pop this up with dimensionals if you want, but I'm going to be popping up the, let's do it this way. I'm going to be popping up the flower with dimensionals, so that'll at least attach to that designer series paper back behind there. Okay. And then let's put some dimensionals on the back of this fussy cut flower. I want to thank you all for joining me today. We are literally almost done. Don't forget if you want to join me Wednesday morning at 7. I'm sorry, at 10, 10 a.m., 7. What was I thinking? seven o'clock I'm getting up but I'm going to potty and then crawling back into bed for a little bit so let's get that on there I'm gonna put that on there kind of at an angle that way you just see a little bit of that vellum behind and that little bit of that scalloped and then we're gonna pop this up also with dimensionals Archie poor baby Nobody loves him. <laughs> y'all, if y'all could see this cat, he's well loved. Trust me. Okay, so we're going to put this one down here at the bottom. Get that on there. And then we're going to finalize this card with a couple of our polished dots. Maybe three. We'll use three. Let's see. Let's put a big one. I'm going to put a big one up here. I'm going to put a little one like right here. Oops. Get that on there. There we go. And then we'll put another big one like down here. Just to dress that little corner up. And there you have it. Oh, I'm not done. Hold on. Hold on. There was one more step. Let me get it. Winkostella! I put a little bit of Winkostella on here. Let me show you. See how it see how it shines the flower. Well, does it shine? Yeah, there you go. See how the flower shines? I put Winkostella on it, which is our glitter in a brush. So I just brushed just brush it on there. That helps give it that extra little that extra little shine, that perfect touch to a flower. Just gotta get it all over, all over these little bitty leaves. Oh, thank you. I see it out of the corner of my eye. Thank you for the likes and the hearts. Thank you. Let me get this little bitty one right here. It's the easiest way to put some glitter on your project without getting glitter everywhere and seeing it all day in your hair, on your face, on your dog's nose. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I think I got enough on that one. Yeah. So there you have it. There we go. Got a little shine going on there. So yay. So let me bring the cards back and let me pull that back down. Once again, I want to thank everybody for joining me today. I hope you got some inspiration with some of the products. I'm still trying to so show some love to our annual catalog, which is another reason why I decided to use the art gallery. So don't forget, we still have a beautiful annual catalog with lots of other products in there. I know we're all excited about everything new that just came out, but we still need to give some love to our annual catalog. So there you have it. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope you all have a rest, a fabulous rest of your Sunday afternoon wherever you are. So be blessed and stay crafty. Bye, y'all.